Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 126 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. As always, I want to give a huge, massive thank you for the support in the last episode. I always appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and ask questions. That being said, if you would like to ask a question for the next episode, leave it down below in the comments. And if you'd be oh so kind to leave a like, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, let's get into the questions for today's episode, starting with Clumpus. I apologize if I butchered your name. ASA, can can you rank the 25th anniversary edition minifigures? I absolutely can. That sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm not going to do like one of those fancy S tiers or whatever. I'm just going to do kind of like uh, my least favorite to my most favorite. So because there's seven, well six right now, but there's going to be seven. It's basically just the top seven. So in seventh place, in my opinion, the worst is Arc Trooper 5s. I don't know what Lego was thinking. I don't like this one. The helmet's inaccurate, not just because of the helmet holes. The printing is just kind of wrong. Personally, I just think it's not a very good looking minifigure. Sadly, the next one hasn't come out yet, but I'm going to put it in number six, and that is the R2KT. I don't know if I can show the leaked images. In my opinion, Lego didn't do the droid right. There's just way too much pink, so I don't really like it, but I'm still excited to get it when we finally get the battle pack. In fifth, I'm going to go with the young Leia. I don't honestly think this is actually a bad minifigure. It's the Lola that just kind of gets me. I'm like, why is it an inverted tile? That's just way too big. It looks like a frisbee. It's just not very good. Then in fourth place, I'm going to go with Saul Guerrero. I think this is a really cool looking minifigure. I'm glad Lego finally made a Saul Guerrero. Personally, I think it might be a little too green, but he still looks really cool. Then in third, I'm going to go with Darth Malak. Like he's just cool looking. Like what else can I say? I love that special piece they made for his mouth. I don't know much about Knights of the Old Republic, but this Darth Malak minifigure is very nice. In second place, I'm going to have to go with the Cal Kestis minifigure. I think he's really cool. I'm so glad Lego finally made a Cal Kestis. Personally, I would have preferred one from Jedi Survivor instead of Fallen Order, and it would have been cool to have a BD-1. I don't know why we didn't get a BD-1, but whatever. Still a really cool looking minifigure, which can only leave us with one last minifigure in first place, and I'm going with the Nine Nub minifigure. I think he's so absolutely cool. I love the special head mold that they gave him. He's just a really cool looking minifigure, and I'm so glad Lego finally made one. So that's how I would rank the 25th Anniversary Edition mini figures. If you want to take the time, I would like to see what you guys think. Maybe rate them, or at the very least, tell me what's your favorite 25th anniversary edition minifigure Lego Star Wars made this year. Because mine is Nine Nub. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Probably not. Next question is from Mayo Husko ASA. Which Star Wars movie do you think has the best scene on the Death Star potatoes? Thank you for the potatoes, my dude. That's an easy one for me. I absolutely love the scene where the stormtroopers are coming out of the room and the one guy hits his head on the door because that was a complete accident but then they went ahead and added like a clanking sound when he hits it it's just hilarious and i absolutely love that scene Next question is from EK Stylo at ASA. What is your thoughts on Darth Plagueis appearing in the Acolyte? So I suspected that we were going to get Plagueis. So I was just like, Darth Plagueis has to be around somewhere. And so when we finally saw him, I thought he looked really cool. I love how he creeps around the corner just looking all evil. But I also kind of liked the Acolyte. And a lot of people think I'm weird for saying that. Pretty weenie. Next question is from Proj Forever ASA. What is your opinion on the Harry Potter books and movies? And do you have any of the Lego Harry Potter sets? So I've seen the movies. I've never read any of the books. I'm just kind of like a very mild, casual fan of Harry Potter. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But no, I do not have any of the Lego sets either. Because like I said, I'm just kind of like a very mild, casual fan. Next question is from Crimson Toaster. ASA, who won the epic rap battle? Luke versus Harry. Carrot. Dude, carrots aren't as cool as potatoes, just saying. I think even Bob Belcher said that, right? I'm gonna have to find that episode of Bob's Burgers and put it up so people know what I'm talking about. Potatoes, hello, good to see you. Carrots, you're gonna be pretty good. I mean, you're not potatoes, but you're fine. I didn't watch the epic rap battle, so I have no idea. And I'm probably not gonna watch it, so so are we. And the last question is from the Lego Bounty Hunter ASA. What is your favorite Revenge of the Sith set? I'm always so bad at answering this question with favorites, but I'm gonna go with the Budapau Trooper Battle Pack or the 212 Battle Pack, as a lot of people would rather call it, because that makes more sense. It's just a fantastic and beautiful battle pack with fantastic and beautiful clone troopers. The build is mm, okay. It's not like the best thing ever, but it's for the clones. And if you have that battle pack, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just, it's fantastic. Hold the Republic! 
So yeah. Anyways, that's all the questions for this episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for watching. If you have a question or two for the next episode, leave it down below. I'll pin my favorite to the top, which means you get to go first. And if you want to check out some of my more recent LEGO Star Wars shorts, I just did one on Jedi Bob Starfighter. It's so cool to see LEGO Jedi Bob back. Jedi Bob, the return of the king. Am I right? Anyways, have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.